Go at those! What's the meaning of that? Huh? What is the meaning of that? Will you try to pass your mouth? Before I remove it for you, I take it. Throw it away. Nonsense! Now, hello, students. Hello, hello, hello Mrs. Mrs. You carry yeah. our mic. Thank you! This is Mona Lisa Zidion. The daughter of our Okwebi, our famous prime minister. So, as you can see, she will be joining us. I would admonish all of you to give her the maximum respect she deserves because she is of high class, as you can see. Not like some of you that are from parents who look like cockroaches and mosquitoes. Anyways, not to say too much because of my condition. I hope you all understand. Yes, yes ma. I hope you all understand. Yes, yes ma. ma. And you know that Project 404 is coming up in two weeks. Exactly. So, who is the costumier of that project? Ma. Okay, me. good. Who is the DOP, Director of Photography? Ma. Me. You? Yes, ma. Okay. Who is the sound? Uh, me. You don't play sound. Yes, ma. I hope you will not mess up that day because I know you too well. You are too good in making in, in messing up things. Anyways, I will talk to Mr. Clifford concerning this your role because I don't understand. Who is the continuity in this project? Good. Uh, the makeup artist. Yeah, ma. Okay. That's good. Um, who is doing the welfare? I'm here, ma. Production manager? I'm here. And the director? I don't want to see you doing something else while the script is saying something else. Like I said, this is a reputable and highly respected film academy. Whatever you're doing in this academy, you need to put in your passion. You need to be passionate about it. You need to make it look real. Let the people out there know that you are acting. Whatever the thing you should do, make sure you interpret the script in a very good manner. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma do I make myself clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma now, um, Lisa Gideon is going to serve as the executive producer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you have any objections? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh. oh, okay. You have an objection. Yes, ma'am. What is your problem? Ma, she's just coming and you're giving her executive producer. Y yes, ma, na. She's just, she's she's just coming. She's coming. She's here. Is that all? Any other complaint? Yes. No complaint. No complaint, ma. Shut What's all this one now? <laughs> oh, well, Somebody that just have, came. Madam, do you have money? Uh -uh. So if you don't have money, you wish. Do you have money? Who is this man? <clears throat> what is this Uh, Hello, students. Hello, Hello. Alright, um, I hope you all know what to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As it concerns this project 404. I have shared your roles to you, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um you will be working with Frederick. You need to try your best as it concerns this project. Hmm? Project 404. Yeah? You will be working with Frederick. Hi guys. Hello. And what's the meaning of this nonsense? No, no, what's the meaning of this nonsense? Did you understand, right? Because your father is the equivalent, the prime minister of this kingdom. That's why you think you can just come walk in here and start misbehaving. So, am I not talking to you? Don't so you think you can come and behave anyhow? See, the next time you repeat this nonsense in this school, I will make sure I expel you from this school. I don't know. I do In fact, you need to see me in my office. Um, Frederick, sir, is everybody not aware of this country? Sir, everyone is aware. Oh, and you are just coming. See, don't try. In fact, see me in my office. Um, you all will be working with Frederick. You will be working with Frederick, and he will be reporting to me. Try your best not to fail, because if you fail, you are going to repeat this plan. I don't like anybody failing. So try your best. You need to do well, hmm? so that you will not fail. Okay. Meanwhile, you. 
Nonsense. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. So Lucy, how you spread you? It's fine, no. Let me see your face. Lucy, is in love. So you're still in love with Frederick? Uh-uh. Yeah, no, no, no. Frederick is in love with Lucy. Oh, Lucy is in love with Frederick. Uh-uh. Who is Frederick? Frederick. Our project director. Uh-uh. You don't know Frederick. You told him some guy I showed you the other day now. And some guy too. <laughs> Who is handsome? He's <laughs> Porsche. I don't like that. <clears throat> Hello guys. Hello guys. Um, Lisa. Can I talk to you in private? Are you insane? Okay, um, you know, I wanted to tell you this. I'm deeply in love with you. <laughs> you are in love with the Prime Minister's daughter, Lisa Gideon. <laughs> oh my goodness! Someone is in love. Love a boy. <laughs> It's written all over you. Outside the fact that the school gave us this uniform, I can attest that you are a pauper. You have nothing to offer. Don't you ever in your life walk up to me and profess love again. Now, take your useless self and your poor mass, your bodyguards out of here. I mean, Oh, this place even stinks. Guys, let's go. Bye bye. <laughs> Let me. Well, I believe that never can you do any good deeds. Don't scare us with this. Guys, can you imagine Mr. Kingsley <laughs> giving me the role? Of a pauper, oh Jesus Christ. You guys know how much I detest poverty. What you can do about it? You have no option. Oh. Babes, do you imagine this man asking me to bend down and pick something on the ground? Are you serious? I don't, I don't still understand what is going on in this school. Oh my goodness. Like, I can't, like, I can't imagine myself acting as a poor girl. And as for me, I'm lucky that he did not give me anything to do. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. Ha. This man is beginning to fall in love with you. Uh, uh, <laughs> excuse that? me. You. Take this money, go to the canteen and get us I think, a bottle of water and snacks. And then please, add ice cream. See, make I warn you. The next time you go try this thing again. Have you not tell us that they share the same class? My say I say are short too. They're for our family, but they do big things. The next time I go try this thing, eh, I go hide you inside my lap. What? See how special see? This fairness, no be brief. Now fake, because you they bleach, I go change them for you. I go hide you inside I'm my lap. Oh my dad! Don't wear them back, no they bite. So make I will laugh. If I deal with you now, I go no one. I'm going to call my daddy for I you. Try it, try it for you. Hi, Lisa. I'm actually sorry for the distraction. You know, since Mr. Kingsley entrusted the project 404 to me, you haven't attended any of my classes. And you know the penalty as regards failure. So I just came to know why you've not been attending classes. I don't owe you any explanation, Frederick. And please, for your information, I don't mingle myself with someone like you. Actually, I'm only trying Excuse to... Excuse me. Save your explanation, please. Nobody in this community knows you. So just... Shush. I'm only trying out to... of my sight! Get out! Lisa, what's going on? 
Ai, ai, ai. Ai, ai, ai. Ai, ai, ai. Ai, ai, ai. Ai, ai, Lisa, Ma. what is it? Ma, there's something I want to tell you. I hope you're fine. Yes, I'm fine. And I hope you're comfortable with the school environment. Well, with all these low lives, I don't think I am. But then again, I'm happy that I have so many of my friends that have my standards. So what then is the problem? Ma, please, I want to, I want to tell you to tell Mr. Kingsley to change Frederick from being the director. I mean, I can't work with such a low life. He's nobody. I, I even heard his dad is even a pan wine tapper. I can't be seen with such people. My God. Lisa. Do you know I have been hearing stories of you being very pompous and very egocentric in this school. I decided to pay deaf ears because I respect and I so much respect your father, Mr. Gideon, our Honorable Prime Minister in Umotutu. This is your attitude. I don't know where you took it from because your father is not a proud man. Look, let me tell you, they say pride goes before a fall. You see, Frederick? He is a very brilliant and intelligent student who came into the school due to scholarship from the state government. Yes, he is on scholarship from the state government. So you don't look down on people because tomorrow you may need them as a ladder to climb to your success. This attitude of yours will not take you to anywhere. Let me tell you, it was humility that brought me to this school as a principal. And I am still here standing because of humility. This your egocentric attitude, my dear, will not take you anywhere. I hope and I know you know that this particular project 404, if you fail, you are going to repeat. Hope you know that. And concerning changing Frederick as the director, <laughs> I am very, very sorry. Mr. Kinsley took the right decision and I cannot go back on that you are the one who should work on your egocentric self you are the one who should step down and step so low to work with poor frederick because it is frederick that will determine your stay in this school if you don't want to kiss your acting career goodbye my darling have a rethink and think twice excuse me but ma excuse me Adi, please. Adi, please forgive me. I'm sorry for everything I've been doing. Hi. Hi, Frederick. What is it, Lisa? What is it? Have you come to insult me again? No. Frederick. Well, I came to apologize for everything. I know I've been so rude to you. Please, I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. You know, I let arrogance and pride get the best part of me. I just came to say sorry. Find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. Lisa, listen. I hold no grudges against you. Actually, they say pride comes before you fall. You should know the way you treat people. Although, Shannon, I'm happy that you have actually come back to your senses. Thank you so very much. You see, as for the project, you've gone far with the project. So, the only thing I can do for you right now is for you to be joining me after school in my practice, just like what I'm doing now. Okay. So can we start now? No. I'm already tired. I want to go home now. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. 
you know what? Let me just walk you home. Okay. Then we'll start tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. All right. You're welcome. Okay. Hello, students. Hello, Hello Mama. Mama. Um, you all are aware that this project 404 is a very important one. Well, I don't need to say much. Um, you have to interpret this script exactly the way it is written here. Because I wouldn't want to wish anybody to fail this project. Which is why I have come to see how far you guys have gone. So who and who is doing scene 14? Me, ma. Yes, ma. Who is the next person? Let's have you. All right, on action, you run the lines, the exact lines I'm seeing here. I don't want any mistake. I want to see passion. I want to see attitude. I want to see character. Put, I, I believe they've taught you all this. I don't need to go back on it again. Put everything in place and make sure you make it real for me. Three, two, one. Action. From no, you know I like you so much and I love you and I'm willing to do anything. I promise I won't hurt you. Excuse me! Excuse me! Oh my God! Oh my God! Was this kiss necessary? What's the meaning of this? Frederick? Is there supposed to be kissing in this scene? No, ma. To do, my dear, return back to your position. Now get back to your position. Nonsense, accurate, alright, nonsense. Now, who are we doing in 19? Uh, is it Benyong and Lucy? Let's have you. I want to see passion, I want to see character, I want to see everything. Make it real. What are they supposed to do? Uh, Benyong is supposed to apologize to her after sleeping with her best friend. Let's have it. Three, two, one, action. Please. Why well, I said I'm sorry. Babe. I still leave me alone. Oh my god! This is good! This is absolutely excellent! Mr. Kisley is doing a great job. I love this. Oh my goodness, I am satisfied. I mean, have you seen this? This should serve as a good example to all of you. This is, in fact, I don't need to say any other thing. Project 404 is success already. My dear, get back to you. Get back, get back, get back, get back. I gave you 100%. 100 <laughs> You want to say something, right? You want to say something? Don't worry. <laughs> Swallow it. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> well, why, why are you slap me now? Please. Please. About you, they don't tell me you kiss me, you kiss me. You think me, 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 me. No, no. going to slap me again. Me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Mrs. Ikiria Michael. Well, okay, um, I want to congratulate everybody for we have come to the end of Project 404. Now we are to move on to Project 405. So, today, we will be spelling out those that will be moving on to Project 405 and those that will remain. The blockheads, those that never listened to teachers like Mr. Kingsley when he was instructing you on this project. May I need to remind you, because I'll be calling out the names of those that are to repeat Project 404. And if you repeat Project 404, you fail twice. You are going to kiss your acting career goodbye. And that demands an expulsion from this noble film academy. So I don't know if Mr. Kingsley have anything to say before I proceed. All right, thank you, Ma. I actually I don't have much to say. I only want to congratulate you. You you tried, you tried, you tried. So over to. So now to the results. 
I am going to call out those that successfully made it to Project 405. In fact, I will call out those that failed Project 404. Now I'll be calling the, the first uh, name I have here is, does anybody have any question before I proceed? No, no, no. Okay, so. Are you sure? Yes, no, ma'am. So I should call out the names? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Number one. You know what? Let's do it this way. This has step forward. Uh, uh, Frank, huh? step forward. Epeyong, step forward. Lucy, huh? step forward. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, mm, for those that are to repeat project 404, <laughs> number one. Congratulations, everybody, pass! Yeah!